far in this. That is unbelievable. I am livid right now. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? Um, l listen, we've reacted to a couple of the games so far. We've reacted to the Demon Souls Remaster World Record. We've reacted to the Bloodborne World Record. We've reacted to the Sekiro World Record. But are you ready for the famously hardest video games of all time? beaten in literally ungodly amounts of times because ladies and gentlemen boys and girls today is dark souls one world record no wrong warp so this is very 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 important right here this wrong warp basically allows you to skip over half of the i mean i mean more than half of the game if we're being completely honest especially if you're considering the amount of times you die this wrong warp is essentially uh basically a really 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 strong glitch so it's basically at any percent without using one single glitch is the category we're watching today the the fastest way you can beat this is using this wrong warp and i've looked it up and basically it just skips a lot of bosses it's not as entertaining to watch uh, because it's just much shorter and you fight way less bosses and it's more like glitch intensive than boss intensive and i figured for this run in particular we would get as many bosses as possible so with with that further ado ladies and gentlemen let's go ahead and get into this Biloxi. i don't know what Biloxi yeah means. it used to be uh, that you would go to the dlc to get the purple purple cowards crystal and do a wrong warp with that but there's a new wrong warp um using homeward and you buy it from petrus i actually didn't know that skips the dlc like i actually completely. didn't know that the the cowards crystal warp was saved not like eight minutes oh my god <laughs> bro because i was so i so before watching this before we get started i watched a video essentially explaining how this speed run works and the guy at the end of the video said like oh the fastest you can do this is like 30, 32 minutes that's the world record i looked it up it's now 21 minutes is how much this run has improved from that previous wrong warp so there's a new wrong warp which allows you to skip eight more minutes of playtime. so that's why we're watching this and really the only important thing that he's done so far is you have to pick thief and then black firebomb so if you have both of those things selected you are good to go for the run Nine and obviously he gets it but there's one part coming up that i really really want to point out because it is got to be the most frustrating thing of literally all time I can't. yeah it's it's pretty new salt god it's I, like uh i actually cannot it was discovered in like november cannot describe to so you how like frustrating it actually is so uh the first thing he's gonna do here the reason you actually uh you actually pick black firebomb is I literally for this right here the, the entire reason you pick it else. is this fight right here he's gonna start hucking bombs before this That's boss cool. even shows up he's gonna hit him with five firebombs dodge right here and he's gonna hit him with two more and uh basically kill the first boss almost almost inst like more or less yeah especially because there's only like what three days left in the month <laughs> i don't know why i reach in stamina there <laughs> mm. uh also this archer so guy he's like gonna do is apparently mega annoying okay he made it past today it. tomorrow and the next day apparently that archer always gets in your way so the <laughs> fact that he managed to get past it is actually huge actually actually huge so uh, you're gonna see it coming up. I believe it's right at the very very beginning of the game He's gonna go ahead and save quit and <laughs> basically anytime you see him save quit in this run The reason he is doing that is to uh, Skip animations like that boulder rolling down and breaking up in that wall He skipped having to wait for it because this game is time on in-game time rather than just real time So any time spent loading or saving is not counted it's only the time you actually have control of your character so anything That's you can cool. do to make what are, that faster what is he doing other than do it every time and you'll see him do that a couple of times in this run this is my first time watching it the whole way through but that's essentially like the explanation of why he is saving and loading uh so much during this run is i mean it's literally faster to save quit and load back in than to just open up that door normally and also another thing that it does that's even more important is it resets enemies which is huge it resets enemies which is absolutely huge so he was just skipping a cutscene there and y'all will see very very quickly um i think it i think it's coming up here i think it's in the area right after this uh where where you'll you'll see just how frustrating the speed run is because the first 10 minutes think of it kind of like zombies think of it kind of like zombies um hmm. but worse i never heard of in that. terms of rng it's like getting a weapon out of the mystery box lost. but 10 times worse and you'll see why 
Partially because he had to play perfectly for this this far into the run. And uh, you'll notice something else coming up here soon. So he gets a little sword right there. Um, but this isn't it yet. It's it's all of this is for a weapon. Because if you don't get this weapon, give up. Literally, honestly and truly, give up. You have to reset the run. It's no longer possible. It's so bad that Dark Souls has considered allowing mods. Like the community has actually considered allowing mods to mod in this sword because it's so RNG intensive. You'll see. You'll see. It's coming up Did here. Did I name this one Biloxi? Did I forget to rename it Biloxi? Who is that? One of, I'm guessing that's one of his viewers. <laughs> that would be my guess. One of the viewers. So you'll the see. Randomizers are pretty fun. Soul of a proud knight. So you'll see him collecting some souls. And I stuff especially like, that. like randomizers when you use a lot of skips and glitches. Dude, I just realized this is his three thousand and seventieth run. Three thousand thir and seventieth run on it this adds game. A... Also, these little zap dragons are terrifying. Ah! Was that bird? A lot rather. more variety like dragons, in though. how you can tackle the game. Also, like again, routing. huge, huge shout out to Regoli, who is uh, allowing me to react to this run. I'll Being leave his channel do down below in the description. Make sure y'all go check him out. Absolute I haven't seen god anything of Dark with the Souls. new mod, but I heard about it. Actually. Absolute god of Dark Souls. Item and enemy. Yeah, enemy rando can be kind of a bitch, depending on how you make the settings. Dude, those, those things do so much damage, too. They do so much damage. So he's climbing up. Yeah, he's I gonna go ahead and... Dude, literally go fucking... <laughs> Ugh, stop! <laughs> Bro, he hates those dragons. Oh, so that uh, that was like, what, a whole one, se uh, one second time loss right here? So he needs... Uh, Did it kill me? Now, now he needs... To, well, probably more than that, that, like sword. a two second. So that ring right there is one of the most important parts of the entire run. Essentially, what that ring does is the more damage that you have, the more damage you do. So you I'll see how low his health words, is? Bro. The, 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 the lower I mean, I his health I is, fucking... is, is basically going to buff him up to literally the strongest, beefiest boy. So he's going to go ahead and heal, save quit, so he can probably spawn at the very, very top of this elevator, I would imagine here. Yeah. Uh, oh, never mind. Yeah, that can be pretty it brutal. Kicks him, it kicks him off the elevator. He jumps into the hole and save quits again. Yeah, dude, Drake's been fucking... Cuts. Oh, does that teleport him to the top? I think that teleports him Tune to the top. To some baby rage? Dude, yeah. All the baby rage. <laughs> <laughs> Wah! Video games are hard. <laughs> like, the previous run I just had, the Drake's killed me on the fucking ladder. And then they oh, shoot this me guy. on the ladder. This so time. here it is. Ladies and gentlemen, what you are watching right now Mason. is literally everything he has done so far means oh, absolutely okay. nothing unless this happens. Oh, nice. Black Knight Halberd. What he just got right Halberd there, this one. Th that getting that weapon is less than a 20% chance of happening. And if you don't get it, you have to restart. You have to restart. And that's what is like basically so annoying because the first part is so repetitive that you just have to keep going over and over and yeah, over until you get that. I got it on a pretty slow attempt, unfortunately. Plus, plus 4.5 seconds. Don't I'll worry. I'll, I'll let you know. This this ends up being the world record. I know I know you can't hear me, and this was recorded, uh, you know, a couple months ago. Oh, yeah. Also, he's going to go ahead and kill this guy right here so oh, that he can get this uh, tie knight to upgrade his weapons. You'll see yeah. just how beefy and buff you can get in this game with the right gear and with the right conditions. You'll see. It gets it's absolutely insane. Some of these bosses. Oh my goodness. I'm really excited for the second half of this run because basically uh the second half of this run I haven't seen before. It is completely gonna be brand new to me. Uh because it's all of the new stuff that isn't wrong warp. Uh, because that wrong warp is now kaput. It's dead. So I'm I'm very very much yeah, looking forward like, to this. My PB is starting to get pretty optimized, so can't have too bad of a start. This one isn't too bad. It's definitely not great though. Four point five seconds, dude. It's just speedrunners are a different breed. So here he's gonna go ahead and talk to this guy. He's gonna buy a couple of things, and uh, he is going to go ahead and reinforce uh, reinforce some weapons so that now he is pretty much. Almost geared up. I think he they reinforce and do some weapons. So he's 
dropping, saving. Yeah, I saw that you got hit. So he's getting war pick plus three, Mason. war pick plus four. I hope you like it, man. Because that game's awesome. He just went to I don't war know pick if you know, but Gwen uh, speedruns that game now. He's he just started, or they what? just started speedrunning. Gwen Stefani? That's crazy. And chose Hades. <laughs> oh, this is new. I haven't seen this strategy. Okay, so he that shot that guy awesome. from like forever away, aggroed him to start running toward him. Is he gonna kill this guy? Oh yes, this guy. Okay, so this is one of the coolest. So as you as you can see, every single time he's going into a menu, he's switching weapons. But this is one of the coolest glitches. Yeah, it like when I when clips I clips your foot, it, it clips I... your foot through a kill barrier. So doing that execution in a very specific spot puts you into a kill barrier, and your character basically becomes like invincible to things, and you're able to just walk yeah, through anything you want. You you basically can just go and completely skip an area by walking through a wall that you normally are not able to walk through because your character is like invisible and invincible. And then you save quit in that area to get you into that area normally as if you walked in there normally. But the only reason you were able to do that is because you were actually like I, the fastest halfway I got dead. was a sub The game thinks you're dead when you're not. It's insane. It's insane, dude. I didn't try insane, super dude. hard to get like a better time. I really just wanted to get a sub 20. Which wasn't super hard. But yeah, you, you can get much faster runs than that. I really like thought it was going to fall off Gwen's there. PB in Hades is like a 750. Bro, a Hades something. is so sick. 750 to beat an entire run of Hades? That's actually nuts. Hades is such a cool game, man. I need Do I need to react to that speed run? Yeah, IGT. Let, let me know. <laughs> also, that is the greatest part. The leaderboards part. go by IGT. <laughs> the little snake guy just gets Except run over by a There's one category boulder. that goes by <laughs> RTA. There's a, a fresh file category for Hades. Where you just do a run on a completely fresh file, like with no upgrades or anything. That It's that kind seems, of a more conventional That seems speed really, run. really, really hard. Uh, and that goes by RTA. Oh yeah, so that part right there, you you basically are trying to get hit by those yeah, arrows so that your health goes down. And when your health goes down, your ring, you, you basically get super buff. Your weapon gets super, super buff and that you can like one shot everything. Uh, but you have to jump, otherwise you die. You basically need it to like touch your, touch your leg and get it shot in the leg by the arrow. Too. All right, here we go. Here we go. I believe he is uh, coming up here decently soon on the first boss fight. Or not technically the first boss fight, but you know what I mean. Iron Golem here, which is a really, really cool boss fight. This is going to be great. If y'all haven't seen this before, this is, this is literally great. He has war pick. Two handing the war pick. Dude, I actually, I, I would love to, I would love to speed run this game. And like the, even the 20 minute version seems like it'd be super, super fun. Cause it's a lot of sprinting and then a lot of like really precise boss fights, which seems really, really fun. <laughs> he just runs that man over. <laughs> All right, here we go. Iron golem time, bro. This is great. Just watch this. Just watch this. Just literally watch this. Here we go. Wait for it. <laughs> and if you don't know what happened there, basically, he died. He died because he got knocked off of the edge and hit the kill barrier down below, dude. Absolutely incredible. It's very precise, like the way you have to position him and maneuver him. But if you get him into oh, the right no, no. spot, he falls off and he dies. I have pumpkin pie. So it's like, the I mean, you fridge. literally just one shot an entire boss Pretty because day. you knock him off. Hey, Remi snap. It reminds me of Destiny, dude. It really does remind me of Destiny. Jelly. I'd let you have some if I could now. All right, so here we go. So now he's going to use all of these souls that he's gotten so far to reinforce. Fucking God, dude. Oh. What happened? He's going to level up his yes. actual character. I pressed down. Did he, the delay got me. Did he, did he accidentally delay? So I, I think he like lost a second or two or something. That sucks. So he's going to get over to this, uh, this little 
Boom, bada, bing, bada, boom. He's gonna great grab some souls because why not? And he's gonna jump off early once he gets that visual cue. And th this is also taking his health down. Oh my God, I've never seen that jump. What in the world was that? That was, that looked so I'm risky. Surprise that only lost me. Uh, that looked so risky. All right, he's swapping out some items. Dude, basically anytime he's in an animation where he can't go any faster, this part is scary. You have to have very precise movement on the rafters to not fall off. And also these guys will literally just knock you off. And there's a, there's a big part in this where if a guy starts charging you and you're not in a good spot for it, you literally just save and quit and you just reset them because F that, you know what I mean? All right, here we go. Dude, I, his menu optimization is so clean. It's so clean. And it's also like the lower health you have, the more damage you do with this ring. All right. You, um, you can I would recommend I... gamepad, but you can try mouse and keyboard if you really want. Some people do play on mouse and keyboard. This game? But if you like using gamepad in general, it's, it's good for Hades. Oh, for Hades. Oh, uh, I, w I was thought he was talking about the game he was getting the world record in. Silly me, <laughs> dude. I, you have to play like Souls and Sekiro's games with a uh, with a controller. You cannot play the mouse and keyboard. They just aren't built for that. They just aren't built for that. They feel so much better. Yeah. Oh, these these enemies are just That's so creepy. probably easier. Yeah. All right. So he's running down here. He has to watch out because these guys can still shoot him in the back and kill him. But it's him. not like you have to pick one or the other or anything. And also, yeah, you see that lightning bolt almost hit him in the back. Run over if he gets hit by that, by the way. Which I've, I, I mean, I, like, I've only really, I, I, I'm acting like I'm an expert. I've only really watched one speed run and it's, all, everything's the same so far. This guy, you're gonna just let him no. suck. And nice there you go, you're gonna, you're gonna kill This him. run is <laughs> pretty cringe. Yes, he said it. He said the thing, this run sucks. Also, you'll notice he's switching out his items a lot and then taking fall damage. There, there's a like very, very needed like p part of this game where you, uh, also that hop is really cool, where you have to manipulate your, your weight so you take a certain amount of fall damage so it triggers your ring doing even more damage. No, Bob's it's the great. only one with the name. Hence, Bob is the king of all right hollows. He deserves look at his Look at his effing health right now. So he's going to take out this Black yeah, Knight Halbert, sport. which is basically the god weapon for this run. Let's see. Let's see. So he has this dual enemy type. Gustav. Two enemies, Who's Gustav? And he has to obviously not die. Oh my god! That is so much more damage than <laughs> I, I saw in the other run. He just killed the first of the two enemies. Are you kidding me? Man, fuck you. Well, I'm yellowing it. Okay. Oh that my worked. god. That he was really shitty segment that though. That first guy. This whole run. Look at his health. Shit, you can't even see honest. it. That's how precise everything is. I'm gonna is. lose like five seconds or something. Maybe <laughs> yeah, this more. run sucks, dude. <laughs> All right, save and quit while he's opening up the door. Cause why not? Cause then, cause if you're if you go through the whole animation, all of that is counting toward game time. Oh yeah, now he's gonna shoot this person to kill him for the, uh, to progress the story. Because LOL. Gotta go in about halfway to collect the soul. Bro, he's like such low health that even jumping in just a little bit too, uh, off too high of a step will literally kill him there. He's gonna go to the shrine. And he's gonna, did he drop, I think he dropped those things because I think that's the last that you need him. All right, so a quick little level up here. All very precise level ups. You're not just leveling up random stuff. Yeah, basically, Mason. <laughs> it's just good enough to not like very reset precise damage or YOLO amounts. Too hard. Uh, although I yellowed uh, Smo a bit there, I could have definitely died, but he didn't do anything too too bad. Oh, this is new. Wait, what? What? What is this? What is this trick? That 
okay, I have no idea what the man just did there. I have, okay. I, I've, I've been a know-it-all so far in this. What? <laughs> okay, this is all new. This is all new to me. Casual. It's casual. Honestly, it's pretty casual stuff. You, you probably shouldn't worry about what he's doing right here. This is all casual. Dude, that's insane. That is actually wild. He's gonna save quit again to, I guess, take him to a new Some area. Jersey? I mean, he just literally walked ac across the face of planet Earth. Or where, whatever the name of this place is. Oh my yeah, god! Dude. Oh my god, dude. This run is so shit. <laughs> <laughs> he said the thing! Okay, so we messed up that last one. Are you... He's... He's already fighting the witch? That's Quaylog, right? Is the witch? Yeah. Oh, well. How? Pretty unlikely that I'll PB, but I'm not gonna reset. Might as well keep going. All right, he got a stun. He got another stun. He got another stun. And he killed it. Okay. Effing sick, dude. Effing sick, dude. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Who's Bro, Gustav? <laughs> that is unbelievable. That is actually unbelievable right there. Oh, I'm upset. People have tried to name the other ones, but I don't know. They don't really stick like Sorry. Bob does. He switched He switched his uh, his weapons so he could get very particular health there. So he could buff his weapons even more. As if that last boss fight wasn't hard I enough. See. He literally yeah. got five stuns in a row. This is also a bad... Because if you hit her and you hit the setup, spider part of her like at the same time, it stuns. Out. So he just did that five times in a row. It's like, the, once you learn these bosses, they're actually yeah, not all that hard. Yeah, I mean, if the rest hard, of this run is like, godlike, then I can still get a 37. Man, my, my, my man is hitting the save quit any percent world record here. He's got the fastest save quits in, in the West. Really not. Well. Why is he doing it so many times? I guess he's skipping something each time. Oh, never mind. He's just He's just getting through that. Oh, and now he's fighting. Yes, of course. Yeah, I could see that. Come on. Captain Cockblock. Nice. <laughs> I, dude, I am livid right now. Oh, he's going to die. Okay, nope. He hit the plunging attack, which is the same thing that he did in that other one to avoid fall damage, I think. Oh, now he wants some help. Now you he want some help. Nice. That's cool. That's cool, man. Bro, that is that is truly Not huge into remarkably sweets. wild. I do like I chocolate. There. I mostly like salty or savory. All right, snacks. here we go. Centipede demon. You know what this 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 boss reminds me of the uh, demon of hatred, and he's gonna get himself to one shot again. He's gonna equip that black knight halberd. And he is going to do 1,037 damage, and he's going to do another 900. He's going to do another 1,000, and he is going to four-shot kill this boss. Oh, yeah, and then you get the ring here, and the ring saves you from fire damage. What does it actually say? What does the ring actually say? He does this so fast. Reduces lava damage. Yeah, so basically you can walk across the lava now without taking very much damage at all. That's, the ants movie? That saves yes, him a I bunch do. of a bunch of stuff. Oh my gosh, the bit rate on this area is just doo-doo. The contrasting lights. No, I'm guessing by the end of this, he's <laughs> going to be very low HP, but not dead. Yeah, chocolate's like the one sweet that is really, oh really God, good to me. The bit rate is so gross. <laughs> nice, I got uh, bounding demon damage in the background. Bro, he is literally just cruising across this lava. Oh, that thing was alive. I forgot about that. That thing was literally alive right there. And he's, he's literally just no problem. I'm guessing by the, by the time he gets to whatever next thing he's going to fight. Oh, yeah. Dinosaurs. Gonna be, he's going to yeah. be literally the perfect. That was elf. like on the Disney Channel. I don't know if it was originally on the Disney Channel. 
Okay, he's now at very, very low health. They did play episodes on Disney. And get ready for the one-shot kill here. Yeah, they do look kind of weird. I agree. He really is going to straight up one-shot anything he fights here. Dude, I wonder what would be so sick if there was a way to duplicate items into your inventory and you could duplicate the uh, the ring that does extra damage. You the could just one-shot every movie. boss. I'm sure there's glitches to do that in Dark Souls. It's just that this strat doesn't go for him because it's not faster than just beating him with four hitting the boss rather than one-shotting. I actually don't remember a movie for dinosaurs. Ooh, that thing is nasty. <laughs> that thing is so nasty. Imagine, imagine there was like yeah, a Yeah, imagine everything just dies, Salt. <laughs> Is this guy effing listening to me? I was going to say, imagine if there was like a Breath of the Wild like sprint glitch where you could regain yeah. stamina while sprinting. And then he just said imagine as well. My man is full on sliding down the entire world right now. And bed of chaos. Here it is. This is, this is a very interesting boss fight here. This is a very interesting boss fight. Yeah, we're back. I've seen we're back. And wait for There's it. There's also obviously the land before time. Okay, fight's over. And oh, he's hitting the perfect hey, return. Time. Return to last bonfire. He used the perfect homeward bone. To teleport him out right as he was finishing no, the kill on him. Fucking strength. All right, and he's going to undead, undead parish. All right, he leveled. It looks like he leveled up his uh, yeah, his weapon really one more time hard. and his mask one more time. So maybe he's. I, I don't know why he leveled up his mask one more time. Obviously, you want more damage on your weapons. Purchase item. Buying some Tyanite so he can upgrade his weapon some more. I love how he just keeps walking past this thing. Well, this time he's going to get zapped by him twice so that he can do some extra damage. Yeah, I mean, better chaos is stupid when you don't do it that way. <laughs> he's like, it's stupid when you don't one-shot him and beat him in 20 seconds. What are you Definitely talking about? right, Celtic. But if you learn Toki Bombs, better chaos is a joke. <laughs> that is so funny. I, I just realized he's probably in, leveling up his endurance so he can sprint farther, huh? It's probably True. way faster to That's just true. be able to constantly sprint rather than... Yeah, everything's going to be harder first playthroughs. So. <laughs> yeah, because you don't know the one-shot technique. I'd say this game gets pretty easy once you figure out how to play it, though. All right, he skips the open door open animation. And he's through. Yeah, I think I think he has a little bit more running, and then he's got really? like boss fight central after that. Oh my god, he almost al almost got sniped there. Heading to the city. Wow. He almost got sniped there. Oh. Uh, well, I got the backup at least. He missed. He missed the initial strat there. Ooh, stone armor. That's gonna be some meaty fall damage whenever this it's time. This is such a mediocre run it's just like full of mistakes everywhere <laughs> he said it hey you said it best brother it's not really even bad rng either it's just like mistakes <laughs> just i suck at the game making <laughs> just kidding I, I i could only i can only dream of being this good a little bit more damage. although i guess the early game was bad rng like the early early game like uh valley of drakes it's definitely bad RNG. Get, getting sniped by that electric dragon. Yeah, that makes sense. It, he yeah, really, but I can't really. We keep saying the same words. Afford to make a lot of mistakes because I'm trying to get a 37, and my 3809 is. It's not definitely not perfect, but it's so, pretty good. So he's literally go, be, try, he had yeah, the world like record really before he had this. Really can't afford to be making a lot of mistakes. He had the world record before he had this. Oh, bro, this this boss. Okay, is so well that's sick. bad RNG. Just a, a wolf. Yo, yo. Where, where where's Pokemon at? I know which one came first here. It worked out. 
I know which dog with the sword in its mouth Still came first. Time. And let me tell you, it wasn't Pokemon's. I'll say that much, man. Sword and shield my butt. All right, he is just running it down. I, I literally, that was just too fast. Oh, he has a... Dude, that is insane. I told you it was literally for a heavy weight so he could deal more damage to himself to, to get his ring to activate to deal more damage. And that is exactly what he put in exactly the helmet. Jumped at exactly the right time to get himself down to one HP. Bro, are you kidding me with this, man? Are you like, it's, it, <laughs> I, it looks really fun, but also there's like weirdly a ton of precision at different areas. There's a ton of precision a lot. And I mean, it looks, I mean, obviously maybe you don't have to do it this fast on not a world record run, but bro, it's so impressive to watch, man. It really, really is. Quick little save quit again. He's now in the water. Oh. Oh! He's running on the floor of the water rather than having to run on the water. Also, he's out of bounds. Oh! So that's what that save quit was for. The abyss. They dropped a shield on the ground. I don't know if that was to save fall damage. Oh, this is a chunky boy. Look at that. He only did six. Okay, hold on. He only did 600 damage. Okay, he is doing 1400 now. So he, is he using the, the shield as a marker to know where to go? Because it's in complete darkness. I think that's what he's doing. Let's see if the boss spawns right in front of him. I think I, that's literally what he did. He uses, he drops the shield on the ground to know exactly where to go. Hey, Vic. And he killed him. It's fine. It's cool. It's not a big deal. Not a big deal. Storyline. Storyline, LOL. Imagine having storyline. Okay. And there he goes. Dude, he's... It's kind of crazy because I, I guess... Yeah, he's exactly even with my... Team. He's running against world record... His world record time right now. And he, he ends up beating his world record by three seconds. But that means he saves 13 seconds off of his world record run at some point here. 13 seconds happens somewhere. I'm excited to see where. Also, fun fact, if you're if you're switching weapons a lot, if you're doing the animation of switching the weapons, which doesn't actually slow you down, if you get hit by anything, you don't get staggered in this game. Fun fact. So so if if he ever gets hit by something and he doesn't get staggered, that's because he's switching his weapons. And his and his uh, little tray, you can see it, see it happening down there in the lower left. All right, let's see. He's going to have to get hit by some stuff here. He's still uh He's still full HP. Never mind, he's just gonna invincibility frame roll through that. Also, the way he's avoiding damage in some of these is uh, there's a glitch where if you roll into the wall, if you roll perfectly into the wall, you can uh, you can keep rolling as you're falling. Like you can keep rolling in midair and rolling at the very beginning of your roll, you can you're invincible for like a few frames, aka like a very very small amount of time. A very small amount of uh, yes, oh God. like invincibility, <laughs> but you can use that to avoid. They fall did in like 2013, well. and he's he's been using that a lot, along with like doing giant plummeting attacks. These archers kind of suck at their job. I'm not gonna lie, bro. Dark Souls looks like such a joke when you watch a speedrunner play it. It really does. Every single one looks like an absolute joke. Like, actually, every single one. It's kind of sad. Because obviously, obviously, so many people have such a hard time with it. I hope that worked. We will see. It might not have worked. 
We will see. No, it worked. <laughs> Good. Caught himself in the little corner there. Oh, he got himself a whole point of damage there, but what he Voila, cares about salt. That's is how you do it. jumping, dude, getting onto the side of the elevator and jumping off early so he can skip this entire area. He would have had to fight his way or run his way through this entire time. It's not fair, dude. It's not fair. All right. He has got himself once again to low health. Also skipping that ladder animation. Two birds, one stone. Everybody pogging at the Duke skip when like, I have to do a skip that's like five times harder. <laughs> <laughs> and he's almost at his one HP. AKA there's something coming up that he needs to kill. It's not the, it's not the ice golem either. Yeah, hold your pogs guys. All right, I'm pausing. I'm pause champing. Chat, please pause champ. The actual hard skip is right here. All right, let's see it. Uh, yeah, I, we're in new territory now. I got no more fun tidbit. Never mind, it's easy. Pick your sock. <laughs> Never mind, it's easy. I think it <laughs> might be Celtic. Bro. All right, now you may pog. <laughs> <laughs> you see the little there was a little sign on the ground right there that was funny okay all right that's hey that, hey that's one way to that's one way to skip a room right there walk over the the roof of it now you may park bro those the design of those things kind of reminds me of uh sekiro a little bit the guys with the, the hats, they kind of look like those hats. I don't think I'm going to get a clam, but I hope I don't. Fuck. God damn it, dude. So much for saving time. Oh, I still saved like a little bit of time. Point one seconds, dude. And and he's just, he's really just uh like keeping the shrine like in his inventory so he can, it can be the last shrine he rested at. It autumn. So he can automatically go back to that location, so they can progress the storyline. This is it's nuts. I'm still working on him right now, in terms of coming up with concepts, but. I will be getting some new emotes soonish. Get one that get 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 a. So, Cause I, I have like a bunch of, this, of extra. This slots ugly default character, stuff. dude. The absolutely hideous default character. Get one of that. <laughs> He's running down. Bro, this Rizzle is prey. this is so interesting to see. I don't think oh. I'm gonna do any pregnant emotes. <laughs> oh. Dude, this but skeleton why? has been a dick lately. <laughs> At least he didn't block me completely. I just don't know how he's gonna save 10 seconds. Was there's like a huge, huge mistake? Like, like I'm already like six mistake. seconds ahead of my PB segment. Cause I didn't get fucking blocked by that stupid skeleton. Wait, but he's 10 seconds behind his PB. What do you mean? Is the, is the time off? You bought an Xbox Series X controller? Dude, nice. I hope you enjoy it. Dude, I, I I might be in the minority here, but for PlayStation 5, man, I am not a, I, I do not like the controller. I prefer the old okay. one. Goodbye, skeleton. Oh, he's fine. See? Look how much Yikes. health he has now. He's got so much health now. All right, equip some stuff. I'm guessing for some fall damage tricks here. Can we call him Skelly? Pinwheel. Call him Captain Cockblot. <laughs> like Kamul saying. Okay, well, everybody say goodbye to Pinwheel. Nice stored roll. Wow, hey, the one winter leaf. Dude, the menu management and the save quit management is low key one of the yeah, more dude, impressive hardest, parts of this run, I'm not gonna lie. 
It's so sick. That actually, that fight is kind of scary if you get a stored roll like I just did. All right, let me guess. He just jumps off the cliff and survives somehow. Yep. I mean, I mean, he obviously, he obviously knows what this place looks like, despite the general lack of uh, light here. He obviously has memorized this thing, but it's still really impressive when you, you see him just jump off into nothingness and know he's fine. Also, what a terrifying area, dude. When you're playing a game where anything can just combo you to death. No, sir, dude. No, sir. Also, is he using the switches to stop like a like a Superman pose Wait, animation where it lands hard? Emote? What the fuck? Ew. Ew. That was a nasty one right there. All right, time for Mr. Nito. That's pretty neat. The, the boss, the, like the, just the normal enemies are just so huge in this game. All right. Lots of pinwheels here. No? Okay. All right, let's see it. Let's see it, Nito. Come here, Nito. I'm like reading just bits of chat because I'm doing the run, so might be misreading things. Oh, so he actually put on all the armor for this. He actually, is he scared of dying? Is that why he put on the armor? Probably not, right? Oh, he got hit. He got hit right there at the end. All right, can he get the timing on returning the last bonfire? Yeah, he got the victory wow. achieved right as he <laughs> teleported out. He saved 10 seconds on... Dude, he saved 12 seconds on Nito. Finally, a good Nito segment. Too bad the rest of the run was pretty me mediocre. <laughs> that's pretty neat. Hey, that's pretty neat. Hey, fool. Hey, who you calling fool, fool? All right. Well, I can definitely... Not PB here, just with bad RNG. Like this segment isn't completely consistent, but there's a, there's a good chance I'll PB here. Dude, I I, I love I, I love. Oh yeah, so right there, you actually want to get stabbed in the back by that thing, and you want to do the little weapon swatch. Uh, swatch. Why do I keep saying that? Swap so you don't get stunned, and you want to get that. You want to get to low health so that you can kill this boss, the final boss, as quickly as possible. Good old Gwen here. Good old Gwendolyn. Pinwheel comments summoned you, yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. Literally in less than a minute, he will have beaten Dark Souls 1. Less than a minute, he will have beaten Dark, Dark Souls 1. And that is disgusting. And that is truly, truly disgusting. But so impressive at the same time. The saddest part is that you literally can just skip even half of what he did here. It's possible. But I just wanted to watch the little yeah, uh, right? one because it's, it's like so I can't. I can have a good Nito segment, but only if the rest of the run is trash. It's the only way you can get good Nitos. That's pretty neat. All right, here we go. In, in less than 20 seconds, say goodbye to Mr. Gwyn. Quick little parry, stab in the chest, do like what, half of your HP? Come on, animation. We don't got all day. Quick parry. And lol. <laughs> he has what? One world second left. Record. Once. <laughs> and there what it is. A trash world record. <laughs> <laughs> every time, uh... dude. Every single time. Thirty-eight. Look at those splits. It's so disgusting. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I hope everybody has enjoyed the Dark Souls world record. Uh, that, that, I mean, that was just absolutely nuts, if we're being completely honest. And that, that is not even the fastest that it can be done. That is not even the fastest that it can be done. That is the world record for this category. Um, and that's without skipping half of the bosses and just teleporting to the last boss, like, half, halfway through what we just watched.
Anyway, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you guys so much for coming out. If y'all have enjoyed, leave a like on the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you in the next one. Make sure y'all check out the runner down below in the description, and bye-bye.